our study here at SeaWorld where we're developing the technique to actually record the electrocardiogram and look at heart rate, it will be beneficial to the veterinarians. The suction cup technology and the electrodes that we're developing will aid them in to be able to attach these onto whales and assess them in different situations. By recording the electrocardiogram and the heart rate of these animals while they're resting and undisturbed in these situations, it provides a baseline for these animals that the veterinarians can use to evaluate in different situations. Eventually we will be applying this technology to animals much larger or equivalent size in the wild. And these include pilot whales, even blue whales and fin whales. That's the real goal of our research is to develop the technique to be able to record the electrocardiogram in these large animals. The importance of, of being able to understand heart rate in the wild is several fold. Certainly, you know, if an animal is beached and, and they're being evaluated for their health, it's first good to know what the heart rate of, of an animal that large is, what the normal heart rate is, and what the normal electrocardiogram looks like. So that's, that's one thing. The second area where this can be used in, in, is, is the direction that we're going in, is to try to evaluate what is causing stress and uh, uh, other uh, problems in these whales when they encounter different stress exposures in the wild. And these include exposure to sound and, and boat traffic. By monitoring the electrocardiogram and the heart rate of whales that are in normal activities versus those that are fleeing ship noise and such, we can then evaluate what the physiological responses and the stress responses are of these whales that will help us to mitigate the problem. We chose Corky as the animal. She's very comfortable with most husbandry behaviors, enjoys partaking in her own health care. So we slowly started to desensitize her or condition her to the suction cups, like touching with our hands, slowly touching with the suction cups, eventually getting it to where we could place them on her and then extending that period of time. We can do a variety of different things with her so that way while we're getting the research, she's also having fun and enjoying it. She's super calm with it. We want it to be totally non-stressful and, and we've spent a lot of time creating that. She seems to really enjoy actually partaking in it.